Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at who is your soulmate. Um, so we're going to see possibly what their zodiac sign is, some characteristics they may have, what they look like, um, why they may be your soulmate, um, and all of that. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also, if you would like a personal reading with me, my information will be listed in the description. All right, Aquarius, who is their soulmate? Give me a look at who their soulmate is. Okay, now these cards are really cutting my hands. Okay, um, we have the mother. Interesting. So right off the bat, um, this person is really protective over themselves. They may have had to be their own source of like protection or nurturing. Like they may have had to nurture themselves emotionally, at least, because they may have never really had a parent or someone else to really be there for them emotionally. And they've gone through a lot of rough experiences in life. So they're somebody who pretty much kind of takes care of themselves emotionally. They are their, their emotional support. Um, this person has had a lot of disappointments in love. So their heart may be a little, I don't want to say fragile, but that's the word I, I guess I'll have to use for this. But it, it's because they've gone through so much of like trusting and putting so much energy into the wrong people that they've learned from their experiences. So they're a lot more cautious, at least. Um, this may also be a mother or somebody who has children as well for some of you, um, or somebody you may even have children with. We have the queen. This card is beautiful. Wow. Um, so I'm getting a lot of like Mars energy from this card. So this could even be an Aries. Um, but I'm getting this energy of this person really being in this energy of having self-control. Um, this is somebody who's gone through the motions of doing a lot of impulsive things. And instead of them just allowing their emotions to sway them, this is somebody who's who has a high level of self-control or somebody who has a level of mastery over their um their circumstance. This is also somebody who's very aware of their flaws, like what their strong suits are and what's not their strong suit. Um, and this is somebody who like, again, I get just a lot of self-awareness from this card. Like this person is very self-aware. There's nothing that anybody else can tell them about themselves. They know it already, the good and the bad. We have the forest. Interesting. This person has a lot of layers in terms of the way that they think and the way that they move. It's because this person may be the type to allow themselves to make decisions based off of their experiences. So this person's very complex in the way that they think, especially if it's not per se how you think. Um, this person also may be a little bit of a, a loner um, or not even a loner, but somebody who keeps to themselves for the most part because... The way that they may be mentally, a lot of people around them may not really relate to it or understand it. So they feel like preserving their energy and being to themselves may be the best thing for them. Um, this is somebody who's also really into like, I don't want to say nature, but like hiking trails for some of you. Like somebody who you may be dealing with, they may be into the whole Let's go into the forest and go camping type of thing. Um, and again, take this reading how it applies. Don't take everything super, super personal, okay? This is not a personal, okay? Some of you, I hope I don't have to say that, but I do for some of you guys. <laughs> um, all right, so give me more information on this individual my Aquarius may be dealing with. We have Reflect. Um, so this person, the reason why they may be coming into your life this lifetime is to help you really see your own energy like this person is like a reflection to you 
to show you your inner self and aspects of yourself that you may need to work on and aspects of yourself that are your strong suits as well. Um, this person is also going to reflect your energy. So if you're wondering how it would be to be in a relationship with you, then this person's going to reflect that. Now, if you have, you know, trust issues, this person has trust issues. If you have commitment issues, this person has commitment issues. It's something of that effect to show you how it's difficult to be in love with somebody who may be moving the way that you may be moving. And also this reflect card, this is beyond just love. This is talking about you again, reflecting this person's going to reflect to you aspects of yourself that you really need to work on. We also have dream. Um, so this person, Hmm, this person is going to come into your life also to kind of help you actualize certain dreams, whether that's through you realizing your inner worth after dealing with this person. Again, soulmates don't always turn out positive. We, we live in a real world. Like, let's be real. I'm an Aries. I deal with realism. Um, soulmates, it's not always a situation where you guys are just together forever. You guys run into the sunset. That's not reality. Um, sometimes you have soulmates that come into your life literally for a season and a reason, and that's it. And this person may be helping you actualize certain dreams after getting your self-confidence back, or are you even building the dream life with this person? But of course it can go both ways. We have masculine and feminine. Um, so this person's also coming into your life to show you how healthy relationships are run, even if it's you going through an unhealthy process with this person. For some of you, through you going through an unhealthy process with this person is when you realize, dang, I may be needing to tone down my masculinity, the amount of masculinity I'm expressing as a woman or as a man, you may be realizing that you need to step more into your masculine energy and not being um, ultra feminine to where you're being, you know, run all over and things of that nature. So this is like you learning the proper balance between masculine and feminine and how to have inner balance as well. And then we have air force. Um, so yeah, so this is to push you to do things instead of you sitting still and just being in, and then now this is like pushing you to finally get to work with certain things that you guys have been wanting to do in your life, but you've been kind of sitting back and just waiting for, I don't know, the universe to just lay it in your lap or something, but, um, okay. So have my Aquarius already met the possible soulmate? Give me the energy surrounding that. Okay. Um, so we have the eight of cups, the six of cups, the strength card and the keeper of cups. Um, so again, a lot of you already have children with this person. So you've already went through the experience, like all of this that I'm talking about, the shifting your life and making better decisions. You may have already dealt with this person and you've already kind of made those changes as of right now. Um, and some of you, you're still going through the process of actually losing a sense of like defensiveness, like you guys are trying to open up a little bit um, emotionally and you may have not met this individual quite yet, but for a lot of you, you've actually met this person. You may have children with them or this is somebody who you've dated in your past and this person is the trigger or not trigger because some of you guys get caught up on that word. Um, this person was the, um, the thing that caused you to make your life better or at least take the initiative to do so. Um, okay. So let's look at the possible Zodiac sign. So what is the possible Zodiac sign of my Aquarius soulmate? So we have Virgo, Pisces, Aquarius. So some of you guys, if this reading is talking about you, this may be a sign that you may, you may not have a soulmate this lifetime. That's okay though. Um, soulmates are rare. So to say that everybody has a soulmate is not real. Um, we also have Taurus and we also have Leo. So this is someone rising in Venus energy. Again, don't stick too much on the Zodiac sign because this is general. Um, 
And yeah, so let's go ahead and continue. So let's go ahead and look at what my charms have to say. Okay. Um, this person, when you meet them, they may just be moving to that area or that city. Um, this is somebody who may be from like overseas or like a different part of the world. They definitely have a mouth and a temper. That's one thing I will say. Um, they do have a big heart. Whenever they care about somebody, they, they go full force in. Um, they may have a pet as well. Um, what is this? Made with love. This person may like to cook. Yeah, this person is the type to like cook little cutesy dinners and stuff like that while you guys are lounging in the house. Uh, for some of you, this person may have slight OCD. Like they don't like it when things are out of place um, or at least out of place where they don't know. They don't know where um, they last left something. They don't like things to be junky. Um, this could strongly be a Taurus. I got that Taurus energy like twice. They could also be a pescatarian for some of you or just somebody who really likes to limit their like meat intake and just really stick to like fish and stuff like that. Okay. Let's pull some cards from here. Give me more information on my Aquarius possible soulmate. So they could be fit or slim, somebody who may like to work out, introverted, so they keep to themselves. They may, may be light slash fair skin. Like I said, organized. They don't like things to be junky. Like the junkiness, they can't do it. Um, they may be short or shorter than you, okay? Um, athletic, so like I said, if they work out, they may be like a really good build. We have alluring, so they may be very, very um, hard to resist in a sense. And sometimes emotional. Let me pull one more. And they're funny and they have a slight sense of humor. So I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for watching this. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, definitely make sure you thumbs this video up and subscribe. Check out the description box if you would like a personal. And I will see you in the next one.